Hey, Amy, how are you today? I'm good, thanks, Todd. And you? I'm good, pretty good. Let's talk about our favorite things. Okay. What is your favorite food? Ooh, my favorite food is avocado. <laughs> avocado? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> wow. How about you? My favorite food is pizza, I think. I love pizza. Oh, me too. It's so good. It's so delicious. Yeah. <laughs> And what is your favorite movie? Well, my favorite movie is Star Wars. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> I know. And you, what is your favorite movie? Well, I do love Star Wars too, but my favorite movie is Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh, I like that movie a lot. Oh, very good. Very good. So I was in high school the same time as the movie. Where are you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, great. So cool. Who is your favorite actor? My favorite actor is Jean Reno. Hmm, the Frenchman. Yes, yes, he's French, but he has been in a lot of American movies too. Yeah, I like the movie Leon. Love it. It's very cool. Yes, I agree. How about you? Uh, my favorite actor is Brad Pitt. Mm. So yeah. I like Brad Pitt a lot. He's great. Yeah, he he's is good. Very talented. Uh, who, I'm sorry, what is your favorite season? My favorite season is probably spring, I think. Mm. It's the cold of winter has passed and it's not too hot yet. So mm. I think spring. How about you? What's your favorite season? Uh, oh, my favorite season is fall. Or autumn. Mm -hmm. I love the fall. I love the colors. Um, it is not hot. It is not cold. And there are many holidays. And my birthday is in the fall. They are great reasons to love yeah. autumn. <laughs> so, when is your birthday? Actually, my birthday is also in the autumn. My birthday is in October. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> Me too. My birthday is in October. That's right. What day? 14th. 14th. Yes. And you? The 2nd. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. So next year, let's have a birthday party together. Okay. October birthday party. Good idea. So what is your favorite city? My favorite city is probably Osaka. Oh, in Japan. Yes, yes, so far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, Osaka, it's very noisy and colorful, and the people are very open and talkative. So I really enjoyed Osaka. Nice. How about you? What's your favorite city? I think my favorite city is Barcelona. Oh, in Spain. Yeah, it's very nice. It is. And it's warm, mm -hmm. it's beautiful, the food is delicious, Yes. the people are nice. Yes. But it's expensive. Right. A little bit. Yeah. But Osaka is expensive. That's true. Very expensive. Yep. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Todd. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
get some lettuce. You do need to get the lettuce, but after slicing the tomatoes, you should toast the bread. Okay, so slice the tomatoes, toast the bread, right, and then spread mayonnaise on the bread、uh -huh. on the toast. Yep, and then add the tomato and lettuce. Mm-hmm. And then, oh, fry the bacon, right, and put the bacon on the lettuce and tomato, and the toast, and the toast. Yes. I think I can do it. You can do it. What about you? What's your favorite sandwich? Oh,、uh, my favorite sandwich is really easy, but a little unhealthy. It's a peanut butter and banana sandwich. Oh, sounds delicious. So similarly, first、uh, toast some bread,、mm -hmm. and then spread peanut butter on one piece of toast. Uh huh. Then cut up a banana. Into big slices. Big slices. Then put the slices of banana on the peanut butter,、mm -hmm. and then put the other toast over the bananas. So、okay. put the sandwich together. It's、right. so delicious. Wow! It sounds pretty easy. Let's see if I can remember. So first, toast the bread. Yes. Then spread peanut butter. On one slice of toast. Yes. After that was cut the banana into big slices.、Mm -hmm. And finally, put the second piece of toast on top of the sandwich. Got it. That's it. That's it. Great. It's so good. I can't wait to try it. And I can't wait to try the BLT. John, tell me about your day. What time do you wake up? Well, let's see. Um, some days I wake up early, maybe about six o'clock. Yeah, sometimes I wake up at six o'clock. When I get up early, I like to get ready for the day, take a shower, and have breakfast. But other days I don't like getting up early. Maybe I'll sleep in until ten or eleven. Wow. Yeah, I like sleeping in late, so sometimes I wake up at eleven. On those days, if I know I won't wake up until eleven, I'll take a shower the night before, before I go to bed. How about you, Sarah? When do you usually wake up? Well, I like every day to be the same. Oh. So I wake up. Every day at eight o'clock. Eight. Eight, and I always do the same thing. First, I make coffee right away. Then I wake up my kids, and we have breakfast together at about eight thirty. Really? Yes. We usually have something easy like bread and yogurt and fruit. I like to have coffee every morning. Whether I wake up at six or at ten, I'm still going to have coffee, but I often skip breakfast. Do you always eat breakfast every day? Yes. If I don't eat breakfast, I'm so hungry. What about lunch? What time do you have lunch? Lunch is the same every day for me. I always eat lunch at twelve thirty p.m.、Mm. So. Whenever I wake up, I do some things, and then I always have lunch at 12:30 p.m.,、uh, just half past noon. And I always have a simple lunch, maybe some soup or spaghetti or a sandwich, something light. And it's always at half past noon. What time do you eat lunch? That's interesting. I have breakfast at the same time every day. But lunch is always at a different time. Really? Because I'm busy in the morning. I go out. Maybe I go shopping. Sometimes I clean the house. So I might have lunch at eleven o'clock or twelve o'clock. Sometimes as late as two thirty. Oh, that's getting late. Yes, but it's always an easy lunch, like you. Maybe. Crackers and cheese, or a sandwich, or a baked potato.
I see you. So, Todd, do you like your house? I do. It's a nice house, uh, but it's an old house. It's very old.、Mm. And how many rooms are in your house? My house has four rooms、uh, a living room, like a sleeping room,、mm -hmm. a study room, and a kitchen. Okay, that sounds big. Um, how about bathrooms? How many bathrooms do you have? I have two bathrooms or toilets, and then I have one washing room to take a shower. Oh, nice. And do you have a TV? I do have a TV in the living room,、mm -hmm. and I have a big couch and a nice table, and I have cable TV. Wow. So I have cable, but I don't watch TV much. Oh. Well, what about your kitchen? Do you have a kitchen? I do. I have a very small kitchen.、Uh, my kitchen has one stove,、mm -hmm. a small stove, a table, and a refrigerator, and a microwave. So I can cook, but it's not easy. Oh. How many chairs do you have in the kitchen? We only have two chairs. It's very, very small. Okay. Uh, do you have a kettle? I do have a kettle. Do you want coffee? <laughs> no, it's an important, <laughs> important <laughs> kitchen appliance. <laughs> it is. It is. I like that kettle. I think in American English we say coffee pot. Really? Yeah. Do we say kettle? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know American English. <laughs> <laughs> I need to learn. For me, a kettle is something you use to boil water. Yeah. So you could be making tea or coffee. It doesn't、True. matter. Maybe we do say kettle. We say kettle. Sorry. Okay.、Uh, how about books, Todd? Do you have many books? No, I have a rule. I only keep two books. What? Yeah. So if I want a new book,、uh -huh. I must get rid of. A book. Wow. Only two. Never three. I don't like having three, four. That is so strict. It is. It is very strict. My rule. Strange rule. <laughs> okay.、Um, how about clothes? Do you have a lot of clothes? No.、Uh, I am a minimalist.、Ah. That means I have few items of clothing. I think I have maybe five shirts. And three pairs of pants. Wow. And two pairs of shoes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It sounds great. It is, kind <laughs> of. But I'm 47, I'm old, so it's okay. <laughs> <Yeah> . I can wear the same clothes every day. It's okay. Um, In your house, do you have a patio? I do, but it's really old、oh. and it's not safe. Oh. Yeah, it can fall. Oh. Or it's old, so I don't use it. Right. But I have a small area to go outside, a small garden.、Uh -huh. It's nice. Okay. Sounds nice. Sounds like a great house. It is. It is. Old, but nice. So, Abby Demi, let's talk about abilities. Sure. So, you seem to be very talented. Well, thank you. So, can you sing well? No, I don't consider myself a good singer. No, I can't sing well. No, I can't sing well. No, not at all? Not really. Do you sing? Often? Do you sing at karaoke? Do you sing at church? I sing once in a while, but I don't really like it so much.、Uh, do you ever sing to yourself at home? Like sing in the shower, sing while cleaning the house? Yes, I do. I enjoy music a lot, I listen to a lot of music. And sometimes I sing alone.、Mm. Yes. Yeah, I don't think I do that.、Oh. I don't like singing. I can't sing. 
I have a terrible, terrible voice. Really? Yeah. People say I'm tone deaf. So when I sing, my voice is flat. Uh, Very、I、bad. I see. Yeah. I want to sing. I really do, but I have a bad voice. I'm sure there are plenty of other things that you do very well. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well,、so、how about cooking? Can you cook well? Cooking is another activity that I'm not so good at. No. Let's say that again.、Mm. I'm not very good at cooking. You can't cook. I have a few dishes that I cook really well, but I think I'm too lazy. I don't. Learn new ones. Yeah, I'm the same. I don't cook, so I can't cook, right? So we say practice makes perfect, but I never cook, so I can't cook. I see what you mean. Yeah. One thing that I do do well and really enjoy is dancing. Ooh, you're a good dancer. Some people have said that I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What style of dancing do you like? I like hip hop, dance music. When I was younger, I took some jazz classes, and I really enjoyed those as well. So there's jazz dancing. Yes, there is. Oh wow! What about like salsa dancing or tango dancing? I like those too, but usually you need a partner for those. So, unless my husband wants to dance, but my husband doesn't really like dancing. Ah,、uh, I understand. I'm the same. <laughs> I can relate. So, Hannah, tell me,、um, do you cook much? Yes, I always cook. I often cook with my roommate, and we always make Chinese or Japanese food. How about you? Well,、um, I don't really cook that often because I'm really busy during the week. So I'll just—I always get something in, in the shop and eat that. But、uh, during the weekends. Um, I, I do. I always cook during the weekends because I really like making food. So that's what I do. So, do you ever eat out?、Um, only occasionally because、um, I'm really busy during the week and I prefer cooking during the weekends. So,、um, not really often. I don't go out really often to eat. But whenever I'm tired. And oh, I don't have time to cook during the weekend. I go and eat out with a friend. So how about you?、Uh, well, I always cook, so I normally go and eat out on the weekends with my friends or family. So do you ever buy takeaway? No, I never. Normally, when I go out to eat, I like to sit and enjoy my food. How about you? Well, that's really nice.、Um, of course, I I do like to sit and enjoy my food, but I have to admit that occasionally I have to buy takeaway, especially when I'm coming late from work and I'm driving.、Um, I'm so hungry that most of the times I don't really make it home, so I have to buy something and eat it on my way. And that's a shame, but that's the way it is. And do you do you usually have people over for dinner? Yes, I sometimes do. I really like cooking, so occasionally I invite my friends over and I cook for them, or we all cook together. How about you? Um, not really.、Uh, I do love cooking,、uh, but the problem is my place is really small. So even though I want to invite my friends, um.、Uh, I never do it because my place would only fit one or two people. So, unfortunately, I never have my friends over for dinner.
Hey, Meg. So let's talk about our life history. Okay, let's do it. So first, when were you born? I was born in 1984. What about you? I was born way before that. I was born in 1969. Oh. Yeah, a ways ago. Not too long ago. Yeah, 47 years ago, but yeah. Okay, a long time ago. Okay, so when did you graduate high school? I graduated high school in 2003. Oh my gosh, really? What about you? Wow, I graduated high school in 1987. Ah, when I was three years old. Wow, yeah. Uh, we were probably about the same intelligence level. <laughs> <laughs> no. About that, about that time. That's not true. Um, and when did you graduate from college? I graduated from college in 2010. When did you graduate from college? I graduated in college in 1993. Mm -hmm. So like you, I took a little extra time to graduate. Yeah, I took more time than normal. And when did you get your first job? I got my first job when I was 17 years old, I think, when I was still in high school. What did you do? I worked at a wedding shop, a wedding dress shop. So I helped to assist the customers and clean the dresses. That's a cool job. Uh, it wasn't so great, actually. Why? Because brides can get a little crazy. <laughs> I can imagine. What about you? When was your first job? Uh, well, my first unofficial job was when I was 13. Mm -hmm. uh, I was a dishwasher. Oh, at a restaurant? Yeah, and I think it was illegal oh. because I was 13. But yeah, I was a dishwasher. Mm. Uh, but then my first official job was at McDonald's. Oh, what did you do there? I made the filet of fish mm. But I got fired. Oh, why? Also, again, I lied about my age. So actually, wait, I was 14. Oh. And I lied and said I was 15. Right. And they fired me. Um, but I worked there for three months. Oh, and you got paid? And I got paid. Well, that's good at least. Yeah. Those are good times, good times. <laughs> um, okay, so when did you meet your f best friend? I met my best friend in 2007. Mm. So about 10 years ago. What about you? Oh, gosh. I met my best friend in high school, so I was a sophomore, a second-year student. So that was 1984 or 1985. Wow. So you've been best friends for a long time. A long time. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, And, okay, so how about phones? When did you get your first phone? Hmm. I think I got my first phone when I was also 17. Same year I had my first job. It was, a, well, my first cell phone was that year. What about you? Well, I got my first phone also when I was 17, but it was a real phone. My parents gave me my own phone line in my house. Mm -hmm. So I had a phone in my room. Back then, that was common in the 80s. So young high school people would have their own phone uh, in their house. Yeah, some of my friends had that when I was growing up also, but I wasn't lucky enough to get my own phone until I could pay for it myself. Oh. So Meg, you look like a healthy person. Do you eat lots of fruits and vegetables? I do eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Uh, especially fruit. I love to eat fruit because it's so sweet. Yeah? What fruits do you like? I love bananas because they're so healthy for you. And so usually in the morning for breakfast, I'll have a banana. I also love blueberries. Blueberries are my favorite fruit. Uh, but sometimes they're expensive, so I can't often eat blueberries. Oh, I agree. Blueberries are so good. I love blueberries in oatmeal. Ah, that's a good idea. I love to have blueberries in muffins. 
Oh, that's nice. Well, mm. you bake. Do you bake blueberry muffins? I do bake blueberry muffins and also blueberry bread, blueberry pancakes, many blueberry things. Oh, wow. That's great. Mm. So are there any fruits you don't like? I don't like kiwi, actually, because the flavor is okay, but the fruit is too soft. So usually I don't want to eat kiwi. Oh, wow. I love kiwi. I love kiwi and, kiwi and bananas. Mm, it's very good. Mm, sounds okay, but maybe I'll just have the banana. So what about vegetables? Um, are you a person who eats lots of salad? Um, I don't eat a lot of salad, but I do like to eat vegetables with my meals, usually lunch and dinner. So you cook vegetables? I cook vegetables or I eat vegetables fresh. For example, usually with my lunch, I'll cut up a cucumber and put some uh, salt or pepper on the cucumber and eat it with my lunch. Oh, great. I love uh, vegetable sticks. So mm -hmm. I love carrot sticks, cucumber sticks, mm. radish sticks. It's very good. Do you like to dip uh, vegetable sticks into any dressing? I do, but it's not healthy, right? But no. yeah, I love the dressing, like the ranch dressing with carrot sticks mm. or the ranch dressing with cucumber sticks. It's very nice. Yeah, it's pretty delicious, but you're right. Not so healthy. No. Mm. So what vegetables do you cook? Sometimes I cook broccoli. I actually like to roast broccoli, which is when you put broccoli into the oven and cook it for a few minutes. Um, so it's really delicious. You can add some salt or seasonings and it's easy to make. You can cook some meat or rice while the broccoli is in the oven and then it's ready for your dinner. Oh, that's great. Yeah, you see some vegetables uh, like on a kebab that mm. are roasted. I guess onions are roasted, peppers right. are roasted. Do right. you roast other vegetables besides broccoli? Mm. Sometimes tomatoes and uh, sometimes potatoes, although is that a vegetable? It is, but it's not a very healthy vegetable. Oh, so maybe I shouldn't eat potatoes. <laughs> oh, I love potatoes, though. Um, so you roast vegetables. Do you cook vegetables any other way? Do you boil vegetables or fry vegetables? Sometimes I boil vegetables. For example, I like to boil carrots because they're soft and you can add some spices again to have some flavor when you eat carrots with your meal. Yeah. Actually, I love carrots, but I only like raw carrots. Oh, really? And I hate cooked carrots. Oh, well, I'll try to remember that if you ever come over for dinner. Yeah, carrot sticks, please. Okay. <laughs> So, Sarah, what can you tell me about your hometown? My hometown? Well, my hometown is called Eau Claire, Wisconsin, and it's a really great city. There are about 80,000 people. There are lots of things to do. There are three movie theaters. I love to watch movies. Me too. There's lots of shopping. You can find anything you want there. There are lots of malls and stores. Are there many restaurants? Yes. The thing I like is you can eat any type of food. There are Chinese restaurants and Korean restaurants, Italian restaurants. There is a big variety of restaurants and they're all good. That sounds great. Um, what about parks? Are there many places to see nature in your town? Yes. We have a lot of rivers and lakes and hills. My hometown has four seasons. So in summer, it's great because there are lots of lakes to swim in lots of forests to play in. In winter, there is a lot of snow. So you can go ice skating or ice fishing or even skiing. Wow, that sounds really fun. 
Yeah, it's a really nice city. It's also really safe. There are lots of nice people there. Good. Is there much to do at night? Hmm. Well, maybe, maybe not. There's not many things to do at night. There aren't any nightclubs. There aren't many bars. So, actually, maybe there isn't much nightlife. That's okay. It sounds like a nice place to have a family. Yeah, it is. It's a great place to have a family. There's lots of good schools and libraries. So, John, where are you from? My hometown is very small. It's a little town in the countryside in Wisconsin. There are only 5,000 people there. Wow, there aren't very many people. No, it's very small. There aren't very many businesses. There isn't a shopping mall. There are a lot of grocery stores. And there are a lot of gas stations. But there isn't much to do there. Oh, really? Are there any movie theaters? Well, there is one movie theater. So that's a nice thing to do. In fact, there are many screens in the theater. There are eight different movies showing. How about at night? What's fun to do? How about at night? Is there very much nightlife? Yeah, there's not so much. But there is a bowling alley. It's fun to go bowling with friends. There's a bowling alley and the movie theater. There's one restaurant where you can go for um, tacos and burritos. And there's one more restaurant for pizza and spaghetti. Ah. But during the daytime, you can go to the park. There's a river that goes through the town. So in the middle of town, there's a river. And there's a park that goes along both sides of the river. And at the park, there is a tennis court and... um. A disc golf course. Disc golf? Yeah. I like to play disc golf with my friends. It's really fun. And after we finish playing disc golf, we usually go to the pizza restaurant. Oh, I see. How about schools? Are there very many schools? Let's see. No, there aren't very many. There is only one elementary school, one junior high school, and one high school. That's it. Interesting. Yeah, there aren't very many schools, but the town doesn't need more schools because there aren't very many people there. I see. Are there any mountains? No, the whole area is very flat. Mm. There are no mountains, but there are a lot of trees. Mm. In fact, there are trees on my town's sign because my town is famous for all the trees on every street. Oh, wow! It sounds like a great city. Okay, first, what smells good? Sweet things smell good. Yes, that's true. I think fresh coffee smells good. I love fresh coffee. I hate the smell of fresh coffee. Oh, really? It's, it doesn't smell good for you. No, it's so, like, bitter. Oh, really? Oh, wow. I think it smells so good. You don't think it smells good? No. Oh. I think hot chocolate smells good. Okay. Okay. There, there we go. All right. So next, what feels good? A hot bath feels good. <laughs> That's true. A hot bath feels really good. I think a warm sweater on a cold day feels really good. Like right after the sweater comes from the dryer, it feels really nice. Yes, I love that warm feeling you get when it comes out. 
So nice. Also, puppies. Puppies feel really nice, right? When you pet puppies. Yeah, I like the fluffy ones. They feel really nice. They do. They feel really, really nice. Okay, so now how about taste? What foods taste really good? Um, I think spicy food tastes really good. Oh, really? Yes. I love like Thai food tastes really good because it can clear your sinuses and just gives you like a kick on your tongue. That's true. It does taste good. I, I have a sweet tooth, so ice cream tastes really good. I love the taste of ice cream. Also, I love pizza, so pizza tastes good. That's because cheese tastes the best. That's right. Something cheese. nice and melty. That's true. How about foods that don't taste good? What food doesn't taste good? Um, natto definitely does not taste good. So natto is a Japanese food uh, that's bitter, right? So it tastes yeah. bitter. Yeah, that's true. I think actually pineapple doesn't taste good. I think pineapple tastes great. I mean, it's nice and sweet, but then the taste kind of burns the back of your mouth eventually. A little bit, yeah. I just like it on pizza. Anything on pizza tastes good. I love pineapple on pizza. It gives it that sweet flavor. True, so true. Okay, so we've done tastes. We've done smells, uh, feel. Okay, now how about look? So who looks good? Who looks beautiful? What famous person looks gorgeous? I think anyone that's over six feet tall looks gorgeous. So everybody in the NBA <laughs> looks gorgeous. Between six feet and six foot five. Really? <laughs> oh man, I'm bummed. I'm five foot 10. I'm just, <laughs> I'm too short. Just uh, a little. I always notice like my eyes are appeals to people that are about six feet tall. I'm like, oh, they look nice. They look good. So tall people look good. They look handsome. Yes, I think so. How about celebrities? Any celebrities that look beautiful, over six feet tall? I don't know how tall they are. They all look tall in the movies. Right. Tom Cruise looks handsome, but he is not actually that tall. No, he's not six feet. He looks taller in the movies. Right. That's true. All actors look taller in movies. Okay, so then we have one more, um, and that would be, what sounds fun? So when you think of an activity, something you want to try, what looks fun or sounds fun? Um, I think like a big musical festival sounds fun, like going out to a, a dance party sounds really fun. Oh, that's that does sound fun. I, I think bicycle trips sound fun. So you do a bicycle trip across country. Or maybe one week or two weeks. That sounds not fun. That sounds very tiring and exhausting. Oh, really? I think that sounds energizing and exciting and adventurous and healthy. It sounds like I need to take a nap and <laughs> take a hot bath to re restore myself. Well, we definitely have different interests. <laughs> yes. Hey, Katie, how was your weekend? Oh, it was really great. What did you do on Saturday? On Saturday, I went to the library with my friends. Okay. I read lots of books, and I had a really, really relaxing time. Wow, sounds like you took it easy. Yeah, I did. Yeah, we need to take a break sometimes. For sure. Did you do anything else on Saturday? Uh, on Saturday evening, I went to a restaurant with my co-workers. Oh, nice. What kind of restaurant? It was a restaurant that sells only chicken wings. Really? Mm-hmm. Was it good chicken? It was so good. It was very delicious. Oh, okay. I think I know that place. Yeah? Yeah, it has the very spicy chicken. Mm-hmm. Oh, that, that place is crazy. That's I ate favorite. there once. The chicken was too spicy. Too spicy? Yeah. Did you I, eat it? I did, and it hurt. It burned <laughs> my mouth. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely burnt my mouth. <laughs> so what about Sunday? Did you do anything on Sunday? On Sunday, I went shopping with my friends. Oh, did you buy anything? Oh, I bought lots of stuff. Yeah, what did you buy? I bought some new shoes and I bought a new dress. Oh, why did you buy a new dress? Um, It was cheap. Okay. It was on sale. No special plans? No, I just like buying clothes. Oh, that's that's good. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the opposite. I don't like buying clothes. <laughs> so did you do anything else on Sunday? 
Um, after I went shopping, I went to a cafe with my friend. Okay. Oh, cool. And nice. we drank some coffee. What cafe did you go to? I went to Starbucks. Oh, everybody goes to Starbucks. I love Starbucks. Yeah, I love Starbucks too. How about you, though? What did you do this weekend? Well, I had a great weekend. I took it easy also. Um, I didn't do too much. I saw a movie on Saturday night. That was fun. Oh, really? What movie did you watch? I finally saw the new Star Wars movie, Rogue One. You saw the new Star Wars movie? Yeah, I loved it. It's so good. Wow, it sounds good. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, it's really good. I hated the first Star Wars movie, the last one. Uh, the Force Awakens. Oh, really? I, no, I didn't like it. Why? It's just boring. It wasn't that interesting. But the next one, Rogue One, was so good. Oh, I see. Why did you think so? Um, I just liked the characters. The story was interesting. It was fun. It was a good movie. I see. Uh, did you go with anybody? No, I went alone. Oh, really? Yeah, I often go to movies alone. So I like to go to movies alone, actually. Oh, why? Because I rarely see movies, and if I see a movie, I just want to watch the movie. I see. Yeah, I know. It sounds boring, huh? Mm, I don't like it when people eat popcorn in movies, either. Oh, I know. I don't like yeah. the noise that people make. Oh, I know. So annoying. So I can understand why you want to see movies by yourself. Yeah. How about Sunday? Did you do anything on Sunday? Yeah, I had a good time. I went to the park. There's a beautiful park down by the bay and I went jogging and I took a bunch of photos because the weather was beautiful. And... What did you take photos of? Oh, I just took photos of the water, of people at the park, of the mountains. It was a clear day and the sky was really, really beautiful. Sounds nice. You'll yeah. have to show me afterwards. Oh, you, yeah, you have to go there. It's a great, great park. Well, it sounds like you had a good weekend. You too.